In September 2011, six-year-old Cirelli Torres was on her way to school when she was struck down at a crosswalk by a teacher driving to another school. Her mother, Guadalupe Zamora, is still waiting for police and prosecutors to bring her daughter's killer to justice. They should do what they need to do, because it's not right that the driver is running around free, as if nothing had happened. Police determined that the teacher was at fault for failing to yield the right of way. But East Palo Alto residents were outraged when the officers released the teacher. District Attorney Steve Wagstaff says his team decided not to prosecute, even though he agrees that the driver was at fault. He says juries too often sympathize with the driver. I've seen that time and time again. A jury may say, but for the grace of God, that's me. I don't want to call the person a criminal. The Center for Investigative Reporting poured over pedestrian records collected by the state and found that more than 30% of people killed by drivers were hit while walking an illegal crosswalk. That's more than three times the national average. As far back as the 1930s, prosecutors have had difficulty convincing juries to convict drivers for killing pedestrians. In response, California lawmakers in 1945 created a vehicular manslaughter statute with lighter sentences and the option of charging the crime as a misdemeanor, not a felony. A review of five years of pedestrian deaths by the Center for Investigative Reporting shows that prosecution rates are still low. 60% of drivers who are found to be at fault for killing pedestrians or suspected of a crime like hit and run did not face criminal charges. When prosecutors did file, the punishments were often light. In fact, more than 40% of drivers charged with killing a pedestrian did not even have their licenses revoked. Four of 10 drivers who were convicted were sentenced to just one day or got no jail time at all. Wagstaff says he's concerned by these numbers. We're not simply saying we're not in the mood to do these cases. A life has been lost. But we need a little more than that. We need to know, okay, what would be a tool? What would be something that could help us to convince jurors? Wagstaff feels public awareness is a first step toward changing jurors' attitudes. He's open to working with prosecutors and lawmakers to try new approaches. At the state capitol, Assemblyman Tom Amiano is sponsoring a bill. It would require all California drivers to sign a statement declaring they will pay more attention to bicyclists and pedestrians. We're hoping that that will help, uh, well, number one, put it on the radar, uh, but number two, help with uh, uh, if the DAs really do want to prosecute, uh, that they have some proof that someone, you know, signed this statement so they were aware that they could endanger uh, other people and, and that that would be helpful in the, in the prosecution. Amiano's bill has passed the Assembly's Transportation Committee and is expected to go before the Assembly's Appropriations Committee in May. A similar bill failed in the Assembly three years ago. For the Center for Investigative Reporting, I'm producer Aditya Sabamurthy.